Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, sorry for not posting for a while. This video is a tutorial how to make really sick uh, GFXs and artwork. I'll uh, put some on the screen right now. So the first step is to download Blender, of course. Don't open it yet because you don't need to. Uh, after you've downloaded Blender, you want to uh, download Paint Rig 3, 3V. Uh, I know it looks a little sketchy, but it's fine. I tried it out. Uh, and then you want to download HDRI. This is optional, but it definitely makes a big impact. I do recommend. And then you want to download Lightroom. Uh, this is also optional, but it does make a big impact as well. So when you download Blender, uh, first you want to go to Roblox Studios. So when you're in Roblox Studios, you want to go to Plugins. You want to go to Load Character. And you want to type whatever character you want it in. Well, I must type in my character. He's right here. Uh, then you want to uh, select him. Uh, I recommend getting rid of his face. It looks it looks really nice because you get the glare and stuff. So I'm going to get rid of this face. Then you want to select him. You want to right click. You want to go to export selections. Then you want to go to uh, file. Mm. Let's go here. Let's call it hello. Oh, I called hello. Hello me. I don't know. Okay, so when you selected him, then you also want to select the hat. By the way, you don't have to put it in a file, I just recommend it because it's way easier to sort out. Then you want to put in a hat, and you want to say, let's call it Swamp. Let's call it Swamp. Okay, so now you want to open, it's called Paint Rig. You want to open it up. You want to go here, you want to go to this folder looking thing, you want to click on it, then you want to go to your file, here, see, it's my skin, and now you want to go to uh, import, obj, go to your file, and then whatever you called it, I called it, uh, what did I, call it? I called it spawn, when you import it, that. Sometimes it's not on your face. If it's not, then you just have to move it to where you want it to be. Um, so after you have that done, uh, you want to uh, first uh, parent it. So when you move him, it works. You want to select him, then you want to hold control, and then click the head part, and then you want to control P, click object, and now that's uh, parented. Now you want to go to world to so go to the top. You want to click world, then you click add texture. Environment texture, click, hold it, move it to the other circle, open, and then you want to go to your HDR, and there. Uh, right now it does nothing, but you'll see when it does it. Uh, now you want to pose, so you want to click on one of the body parts, click pose. I clicked the middle one. This one does not do anything when you click it. And now you can pose. So I only use rotate and move. Let's make him do like a dance. Okay, there's my dance. So when you got this, you want to uh, go back to object. You can scroll this back up, we don't need that. Then you want to go to this camera looking thing. Click, click EV. Then click ambient bloom here, 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 and then there. We want to uh, want to go here, then we want to click here, and then see with the glare, it looks way nicer. So now, we want to go to import, again, we want to import, oh, a waveform by the way, you want to click OBJ waveform, you want to go to uh, whatever, your Lightroom, and then rotate it so it's in front of him, then you want to click here and change it whatever color, we'll do it black for right now, um, and then you want to add camera. Good. You want to click number key zero to access it, or you can go here. Then you press Shift F, Shift F, or uh, press Shift. Um, what is it? Like the uh, I forgot what it's called. I'll put a, a thing on the screen, 
and then you want to move it to wherever you want click double not double click click once okay I'm going to uh, make it rotate right now so I'm just going to click the camera angle it a little bit so it looks kind of nice and then access it again so that's there so we got that done and now we want to uh, go to add go to light I recommend adding a point light you go to power make it like a thousand ten thousand or something ten thousand right there then you want to move it back right there it looks like he's okay that's a little bright go there and then you want to change this to like a yellowish color so that looks like a sun sort of looks really pretty um do you like that there and there that's part one so you got him and then the next part this is how you add more people it's not as easy just clicking here clicking like import and stuff there's a lot more you have to do um so first let's uh, actually import a character uh, like a model let's go to this exploding barrel for example I uh, some models don't work or some models just don't have the texture like simple models usually are better like this is a really simple model like yeah so this one is gonna work it just may look different the textures so advanced textures don't usually work at all so let's call this barrel well I already have one oh, let's just use the barrel let's keep it there so export it then go here go to import J pizza barrel and then it made like it's kind of it's kind of weird where it like goes to the side but it does work see as it access it and now make sure it's in camera view by pressing the number key so that is in camera I'm gonna make it a little closer though okay and this is how you add another player so you want to go and click the same rig by the way when you save this don't ever press save let me show here don't ever press save you want to press save as because if you save then you have to download it again because then you uh, it's the same there's not the rig anymore if you want to do it again now here's how to uh, add another player so you simply get another player let's just get the default player by the way the character must be blocky like this it does not work for non blocky characters I don't know it doesn't really matter about the name let's go there add the Oh wait no, we have to we'll have to do it again. If you make a mistake, like let's just call this hats. Okay, it's hats. If you make a mistake and you want to get rid of his hat face, you simply get rid of his face. <laughs> oh, then we have to also get rid of the humanoid part, because that sometimes happens where their face is also part of the humanoid. And then whatever you called it, which we called it uh, already, just select that and place. So now it will be replaced. And it doesn't have a face. So let me go here. Pizza. Boom. And now it has no face. <laughs> and now we want to import waveform. So it's the same thing as last time hats. There's a lot here. See an example. His head's not in the right place. So we can just move it to the correct one. Alright. Then we click here. Click here. And then we want to. This is a little different because we don't want to add the world thing at all, and we don't want to add this. We we just pose it now. With the pose mode to make him sit down maybe on the barrel. That would be cool. So that's ours. Then we want to go to save as. And save it as whatever you want. So I'll save it as a man. Now, <laughs> M. So I'm saying it as. It's, uh, that's it. That's it. So I'm gonna save as. Then you go to your other file. Then you wanna go to append. Then you wanna click where you saved it as. I'm in. Then you wanna go to object. And you wanna select all by shift. Holding shift and clicking one to the other side. Select it, click move, it, and then move it to you where you want it to be. Boom. 
there. Okay. And uh, we're done. So when we click render, you got your own professional build. Obviously, instead of the barrel, you can add backgrounds, you can add anything. But look, it looks pretty nice. Uh, I hope this video helped you, and I'll see you next time in another video, hopefully. Uh, see you guys next time. Bye.